Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today I'm going to teach you how to make this cool holographic chrome text effect uh, you can do in Adobe Photoshop. It's really cool, I promise you're going to love it. Uh, so let's jump right into it. So as you can see, it's pretty simple. We only have three layers over here in Photoshop. So I like to start off with a color fill. Um, this because, let me show you. Let's say I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to fill it. If I resize my artboard, I also have to resize my background. And that's pretty annoying. You can also accidentally move it around and I don't like that. What you can do is go over here to the adjustments and select solid color. What this will create is a fill. You can decide whichever color you want and there's no way you can move it around. It's going to, no matter what, fill your entire artboard. So that's why I like to use color fills. They're also linked with masks, so you can edit them and do whatever you want with them in a non-destructive way. Uh, we love color fills. Anyways, you can then insert your text or your logo. And at the end, it's going to look something like this. Um, so what you want to do is you double click on your logo or your text to open up the blending options and uh, layer style panel. Um, you first off, you want to add what I add first is a gradient overlay and you can use similar settings to these. These will usually work. Uh, I usually do reflected and uncheck the reverse box. You can then scale it down. You can see how it changes. If you scale it, you can find whichever number you prefer. This is not mandatory. Um, and for the gradient, you just click on it. If you click, you can add more colors. If you double click, you can change the colors of them. Um, and if you click and drag downwards, it'll delete the colors. So I just added a repetition of uh, pastel uh, yellow, pink, and blue. And cool thing is if you click, let's say I want to add a yellow over here. You just click on the yellow you already have, just so you know that you were making the same exact yellow, click on your yellow and then click on your spot and it'll automatically insert the yellow you just clicked. That's it for the gradient overlay. I then like to add a bevel and emboss effect and guys look at the difference before, after. This is what gives the majority of the effect. So you want to play around with these settings a bunch. I like to use for this effect the angle of 90 and 30 and this gloss contour. Um, over here, I usually use these blend modes for this specific effect, um, but you can change the colors here according to what colors you put in your gradient overlay. So if, for example, if you put, um, if your gradient is uh, pink, purple, and red, you might want to change these colors to like pink and purple or red and purple or whatever. This part is the one you can play with because it kind of depends on what size your text is and et cetera, et cetera. So you can actually see in live, you don't have to use the same settings I use, but just to give you a general indication of what works well for me. Anyways, we then add an inner shadow. Um, as you can see, the before and after gives it like a much more realistic look to it. I like to use this contour, but you can play around with the different contours. There's a bunch that look kind of cool. Uh, I feel like this one looks the best. Then you're going to add an inner glow and you same, same thing as early. If you use different colors for your gradient, make sure to change this as well. Don't use a uh, light yellow. If your design is red and blue, I may, it, it will make no sense. And, um, just play around with these settings. As I said earlier, this is like a general base point for you. If you copy these settings, it should look pretty cool, but then you can play around with the numbers and that way you're already halfway through. Then I add a satin effect. Um, 
as you can see this gives it more depth and lastly I add an outer glow same thing here you can change the color of your glow just by clicking on it um, press OK and lastly I just added a layer on top of my logo or text and added two stars now how did I do that I basically click here to add a new layer and then I grab my brush tool so press B on my keyboard I found these really cool brushes in the um, legacy brushes and now you might not have them in Photoshop but they are um, they are brushes that you automatically have you just have to import them so I just click here on the on this little icon and select legacy brushes and it'll automatically put them over here now I found in the assorted brushes you scroll down scroll down scroll down um, and there's a starburst so I'm gonna grab that brush I'm gonna resize it however I want and change the opacity to whatever I want I'm gonna change the color to white and then I'm gonna just place my starburst wherever I want it so maybe here and it looks pretty cool and that's it it's a really really cool effect and once you start getting the hang of um, all these uh, layer styles uh, you you're gonna be able to make some really awesome stuff Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Um, also comment what you'd like to see next. Follow me on Instagram, on TikTok, where I post shorter versions of these same tutorials. Be sure to check my website out where I have some prints available and these really cool hats and some other clothing items. I'll see you tomorrow.